When I started my PhD, my supervisor called me in and said, Graham, why do you, why do you want to do a PhD? What do you want, what do you want to achieve? And I was very enthusiastic and I said, I want to make the desert bloom. I guess that sounds, certainly to me now, it sounds very naive. But anyway, I said I wanted to make the desert bloom because I had in mind that water was the most limiting resource in Australia and uh, that if we could do this, farmers would have a better life, more predictable income. Graham is one of the leading biophysical scientists in the world and he is arguably the, the leading plant physiologist in the world. We're at a turning point. We need to understand our environment, we need to understand biology and we need to find a way to, to exist sustainably within that context and Graham has helped provide that understanding. Photosynthesis is, is using sunlight to create living matter and all plants that we deal with photosynthesize to grow and so this use of sunlight for energy to create life and to create growth and to create food is the very basis of uh, human existence. Graham came up with a way of mathematically describing photosynthesis. Biologists had been studying photosynthesis for a long time but hadn't been thinking of it in terms of physics and certainly hadn't been making equations to describe it. You can use it to predict the interaction between the climate and vegetation and how climate change into the future might affect our trees, our crop and all the plants that we depend on for life. He's a bit of a dreamer for sure. I think he's driven by a really insatiable curiosity so he really needs to know the reasons why things work the way they do and how they work. We as scientists have to take a role. The issue is how we do it and to what extent we get involved in things beyond the science itself. I personally have become allergic to the phrase we accept the science that there's nothing uncertain. Of course, I'm even more allergic, I suppose, to somebody who would say, I don't accept the science, because that's obviously kind of ridiculous. I think of science as moving forward as a, a sort of a bulldozer. And then there's Graham running past it and sort of waiting for it to catch up, and running past it again. I've been lucky that some of my discoveries have been recognized, and the recognition is wonderful. But it's nothing like the actual joy of discovery itself. The intrinsic joy comes from finding something, the beauty in something, seeing it before everybody else and being able to tell the world about it. It's important, I think, for that childlike joy of discovery to continue into adulthood and, and into, into seniority. We should all be enjoying discoveries, not necessarily scientific ones, they can be of all kinds, but discovery is a joyous thing and I wish everybody well in, in achieving it.